Best PDF Editor for Windows 2023, Adobe Acrobat versus PDF Element. Hello everyone, my name is George and welcome back to the official YouTube channel of PDF Element. In today's video, I will tell you about the best PDF editors available on the market. PDF editing is a common task in the digital age and there are many options available for you to choose from, from free editors to advanced options with multiple features. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at two of the best options to meet your PDF editing needs. Let's get started. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Professional PDF editors offer a wide range of tools focused on facilitating the tasks of managing, editing and protecting PDFs that are not available in free PDF editors. This makes them indispensable tools for anyone who works frequently with PDF documents. Whether it's creating professional documents, editing documents, filling out forms, password protecting these forms, or simply protecting sensitive information, you're going to need some cutting edge PDF editing software sooner or later. However, every PDF document management software is different. So in this video, we will focus on looking at the two most effective and popular options, which are one, PDF Element, and number two, Adobe Acrobat. Let's start by understanding the background of these two pieces of software. So number one, PDF Element. PDF Element is a professional PDF editor developed by Wondershare with an easy to use interface similar to Microsoft Office products. PDF Element uses a comprehensive solution for managing PDF documents and is fully compatible with Windows, iOS, macOS, and Android, making it a powerful yet easy to use option that's easy to recommend for both personal and professional use. Number two, Adobe Acrobat. On the other hand, Adobe Acrobat is probably the best known PDF document editor since the company that developed it years ago also created the PDF format. This software also has a wide variety of tools specialized in editing PDFs and its user face can be a little less intuitive. But if you are used to working with other Adobe products, then this software may be familiar to you. As you can see, both are effective PDF editing tools. So which of these options is the best for you? In this video, we're going to compare their navigation, seven key features and pricing to help you make a better decision. Let's start with the navigation perspective. Navigation is an important aspect of PDF editors because it allows us to easily and efficiently move around within a document. This is particularly important when working with long and complex PDF documents, as it enables users to quickly jump to different sections or find specific words or sentences. Adobe Acrobat Pro is an incredible tool that makes it easy to navigate through your PDF pages. Let me tell you about the navigation tools you can use in Adobe Acrobat Pro. With the bookmarks tool, you can quickly create outlines and jump to specific pages with just a few clicks. The find text tool is your secret weapon to finding important information in a sea of words. And if you know the page number you want to see, simply type it in and voila. The thumbnail tool gives you a sneak peek at the pages in your document. And the attachment tool is a great way to keep track of any files that may be associated with your PDF. While these features are very convenient and easy to use, PDF Element takes document browsing to the next level with even more benefits. In PDF Element, navigation tools are designed with your productivity in mind. With all the quick functions conveniently grouped on the left-hand side of your screen, you will never waste time searching for pages or accessing thumbnails, bookmarks, commenting, and layers again. These tools are not only just as good as those in other PDF editors, but they're also incredibly practical, making your PDF experience smoother and more efficient. PDF Element and Adobe Acrobat both have top-notch navigation tools, so the choice of which one to use ultimately comes down to your own personal preference. So what software should I use? Let's compare the most relevant differences between these two giants, starting with their PDF creation tools. As you can see, both software offer pretty much the same PDF creation tools, but then how are they different? Well, despite the fact that both software have practically the same creation tools, there are some differences that can help you choose the most suitable option for you. Let's start by looking at Adobe Acrobat's PDF Pro creation tools. Adobe Acrobat PDF creation tools are a game changer. Whether you're using your clipboard to generate PDFs, transforming scanned pages into professional quality documents, converting Microsoft Office files with ease, 
starting from scratch with a blank page to create a custom PDF, or turning web pages into PDFs in a snap. The possibilities are endless. Creating documents with Adobe Acrobat Pro is pretty easy, don't you think? Now, let's look at what PDF Element offers. Just like Adobe Acrobat Pro, PDF Element allows you to create documents using existing files, scan pages, web pages, blank documents, and also offers you an additional option. PDF Element offers a huge number of pre-built templates that will help you create all kinds of professional looking documents in seconds. Amazing, right? Having hundreds of templates at your fingertips can be a huge help, especially when you're used to constantly creating PDFs. Now it's time to move on and compare PDF editing tools. Here you can see Adobe Acrobat Pro and PDF Element have similar editing features, but how are they different? Let's start looking at what Adobe Acrobat offers when it comes to editing PDFs. The Edit PDF feature will allow you to modify PDFs to add, remove, and change information, as well as customize them according to your needs. Transform your PDFs into masterpieces with Adobe Acrobat. This powerful tool gives you the power to edit your PDFs with ease, using a variety of functions such as adding text, images, links, cropping pages, adding headers and footers, and even adding a watermark. With so many options at your fingertips, enhancing your PDFs will be quite easy. Using Adobe Acrobat Pro, say goodbye to boring documents. With just a few clicks, you can easily edit the written content of your document. Simply select a form, add or delete text and tweak every detail of its format, including font size and color. At this point, you may think that this application gives you everything you need to edit the content of your PDFs, but let's see what PDF Element can do. This powerful software offers all the editing tools you need with a user-friendly interface that makes it simple to access everything at your fingertips. But that's not all. PDF Element also offers a unique text mode feature, which allows you to select lines instead of paragraphs when editing your text, ensuring that the layout of your document stays exactly as you intended. Say goodbye to frustrating editing experiences. With PDF Element, PDF editing will always be smooth and seamless. Well, the choice between these two powerful editing options can be tough, but don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's dive into the conversion tools and see which one is the best fit for your needs. As you can see, both PDF Element and Adobe Acrobat can efficiently convert the most common formats. But then, which of these two software is better in this regard? Well, it's time to check out what conversion tools Adobe Acrobat Pro offers you. Using Adobe Acrobat Pro, you'll be able to transform your PDFs into a variety of formats with ease, whether you need to save your PDF as a Microsoft Office document, HTML file, or text. Adobe Acrobat Pro has got you covered. And do you know the best part? This transformation happens at lightning speeds, so you can be done in just a couple of minutes. Even converting your files with Adobe Acrobat Pro is quite easy. However, PDF Element as an alternative is not far behind. With PDF Element's conversion tool, you can convert your PDFs to a variety of formats, just like with other PDF editors. But here's the added bonus. PDF Element allows you to convert your PDFs to EPUB or HWP and RTF format. Now, you may have a clearer idea of which application fits your needs better when it comes to converting PDFs. It's time to take a look at their annotation features. If you are used to working with PDFs, you might agree that PDFs are not just a body of text and images. PDFs should also be a space for notes, comments, and attachments. There are a few more differences between the features of both apps, but the most important one is create comment notes which is exclusive to PDF Element. First, let's look at the annotation features in Adobe Acrobat Pro. There are some ways to annotate a PDF within Adobe Acrobat Pro. Some tools for this are comment, measure, and fill and sign. Something characteristic of Adobe Acrobat Pro is that it seeks to diversify the ways of making annotations. So you'll have plenty of freedom to add comments, signatures, text boxes, sticky notes, and stamps. Another important advantage that Adobe Acrobat Pro offers within this tool is the customization. In most of the features, you'll be able to change the shapes and colors of your annotations with complete freedom. What did you think about the Adobe Acrobat annotation tools? They're impressive, right? Let's see what PDF Element can do in this regard. PDF Element also offers a significant number of annotation features, and like in Adobe Acrobat Pro, you can add comments, text boxes, signatures, stamps, and sticky notes are also present here. PDF Element also allows you to insert a wide variety of prefab stamps. And even when customization of Adobe Acrobat is quite complete, PDF Element takes this to a whole new level, allowing you to fully customize your notes even further from shapes and colors to size and fonts. 
just like you are using real sticky notes. What did you think about these annotation tools? They're pretty convenient, aren't they? Now let's look at the organization features. Here you can see that Adobe Acrobat Pro has more organization features than PDF Element. But how much of a big deal is this? Let's find out. Let's start by looking at the organization tools in Adobe Acrobat. Organization tools within PDF editors are a lifesaver. With the ability to rearrange and rotate pages, you can quickly turn messy, confusing documents into well-organized, easy to read files. No more struggling with pages scanned in the wrong order. Using PDF organization tools, you can easily arrange and orient your PDFs for maximum readability. Using this tool, you will see the pages of your documents as thumbnails, making it simple to do things like delete unwanted pages, rearrange their order, or even create a new document with just the pages that you need. What do you think about the page organization tools? They're pretty cool, right? Let's see how this works in PDF Element. Just like Adobe Acrobat Pro, PDF Element also has a page organizing tool and it works quite similar. Though through this tool, you can also do tasks such as copy, delete, insert, and extract pages among others. As you can see, the interface is very easy to understand. And even if you've never used PDF Element before, you are likely to be familiarized with this tool set at a glance. There's not much of a difference between Adobe Acrobat Pro and PDF Element when it comes to page organization. So if you're considering switching to PDF Element, you will have no trouble adapting to it. Now let's move on to PDF security. The protect and share tool in both PDF Element and Adobe Acrobat Pro have similar key features. So you can be confident that both your apps will fully protect your PDFs. Protecting your files is important to keep your data safe. Adobe Acrobat has a special tool to protect your PDFs. So let's take a closer look at these features. Through the Adobe Acrobat Pro protect tool, you can set limitations and passwords to prevent others from editing or viewing the content of the document. On the other hand, if you want to add specific permissions, it can also be configured with this software. It all depends on how much you need to limit external access, since the confidentiality of the information could change. For example, you can set limits to make your file printable or able to be modified. Adobe Acrobat Pro understands the different needs and preferences of PDF authors and provides personalized security that is both effective and tailored to the specific requirements. This level of customization may seem difficult to match in other PDF editors. But guess what? PDF Element also has PDF protection covered. Just like Adobe Acrobat Pro, you can add password protection to your PDFs with PDF Element to keep others from viewing, editing, printing, or making changes. The best part is that the protection tool is much easier to use and more user-friendly. Both software are at the top of security, but with PDF Element, setting security restrictions is just a breeze. Now, let's look at what these apps offer for file management. Regarding file management, both software offer amazing tools, including OCR. Something remarkable of the PDF Element OCR feature is its user-friendly interface, which makes it easy for anyone to convert scanned documents into editable and searchable PDFs. How about we take a look at the Adobe Acrobat OCR tool? In Adobe Acrobat, you can perform the OCR to images with text, PDFs, or using a scanner to create a file. Using the Adobe Acrobat OCR tool, you can find tools that will allow you to perform the OCR on multiple files at the same time or just the one that you're working with. And it will even allow you to manually correct recognition errors. Also, the Adobe Acrobat OCR tool allows you to choose between a wide range of languages. Adobe Acrobat OCR tool is quite useful, but how about the PDF Elements OCR tool? Let's test it. PDF Element OCR tool has the same potential as the Adobe Acrobat OCR tool, but PDF Element makes it easier by using a configuration wizard to guide you through the entire process. The PDF Element tools are quite similar to those of Adobe Acrobat. And in many cases, they are also as efficient and fast, including, of course, the OCR. It's time to move on to the last features comparison for today. In this section, we can see that both software have cloud functions, but PDF Element has a translation feature, which cannot go unnoticed. Translating is a basic necessity for thousands of PDF users, and it turns out to be something extremely important. Usually, if you use a PDF application, you copy the text to paste it into a web page or specialized software to translate it. What would you think if I told you that within the same PDF app, you could translate the entire document? Well, using PDF element translations will be a piece of cake for you. And fortunately, it supports dozens of output languages. 
All you have to do is select the text you would like to translate and you will see the result in the bottom box of the translation window. Amazing, right? Just think about how much time you will save using this powerful and reliable translation tool instead of having to go to external services. Now let's move on to compare the pricing of these two software. If you use PDFs regularly and you are in search of a professional PDF application, it's common knowledge that high quality software comes at a cost. However, there are cost effective options available. For example, you can get Adobe Acrobat Pro monthly plan for $19.99 or on the annual plan for $239.88. On the other hand, you can get the PDF Element Annual Plan for $79.99 or a perpetual license for $129.99. This is a considerably more affordable option, right? If we compare the functions provided by each application, the cost-benefit relationship is clear. PDF Element not only matches the most relevant Adobe Acrobat features, but also has some extra exclusive features. If you're still not completely sure, you can activate a 14-day free trial to test out its features. That was all about the most relevant features of Adobe Acrobat Pro and PDF Element. Now that you know all of the advantages of each software, you will surely make the best decision when it comes to your purchase. Also consider the price and trials, since the price difference is not necessarily proportional to what each application actually offers. Since, as you can see, the tools are similar and there are no substantial differences in their use either. Before I say goodbye, I would like to thank you for staying with me till the end of today's video. If this video has been helpful for you, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel, and I will continue bringing you videos with many tips and tricks to make your work life easier and more efficient. You can also go take a look at the rest of the videos on the channel. There you will find more videos just like this one. See you next time.